Hello, welcome to Drawing with Fire. I'm Valerie, your neighborhood biography artist, and I'm joined with Hubby. Okay. And the fur babies. Erf, erf. <laughs> and today, we're working on a test board because I have, and it's right here on camera, right here. I have never wood burned somebody underwater and is a ghost figure. So I really need to figure this out. Now what you're seeing on the reference photo is different from the pattern and that's because the mermaid that's the ghost face basically is going to have scales and, and fingers crossed because my goal is to go hauntingly beautiful but right now I have to figure out how he's going to look underwater because I'm completely comfortable with all the other stuff I'm going to do it's just this face I've never done it so I'm taking my own advice because I normally tell you guys to, to do a little bit of a test before you get started. That way you feel more comfortable. That is what I'm doing. So let's quickly say hi to Karen, Gila, Andrea, and as I'm picking out some pens, we're going to start with the eyes. And see the thing is her eyes are really light. That's one of the reasons why I picked them. They're like gorgeous blue eyes. But looking at the I'm going to switch it over to the sepia um, tonal value one let's see here there we go uh, we don't see a whole lot of detail and my my brain is always detail do detail but we're not seeing an over a whole lot so I have to figure out how to achieve what I'm wanting because we look at the reference and I mean he's got a dark shadow here even under the water um, yeah shading around the eyes we have no real whites of the eyes which we normally don't those tend to be color or burned anyway and I also have to take into consideration the fact that the light is coming down versus how this photo was taken she's laying on her back in water and the sun is directly on her, or angled to the right of her face, but straight down. And, and the camera is above her, taking the picture straight down. So I have to, in a way, kind of adjust the lighting a little bit, too. Alright, so I'm going to grab... What am I doing? I'm going to go ahead and go with my extra small. I'm going to bump it down to one and a half because it always burns hotter. And we are going to get started. So I went a little heavy on my on my transfer. So what I'm going to do? Ah, well, hopefully I don't need that again because <laughs> I, well, it's not like I can't tape it back together if I needed to. Not a big deal. Alrighty, I am going while my pen's heating. I am going to very lightly erase some of this because I went a little heavy. It took me a while to figure out how I wanted this face to look, and I may ultimately still change it. Um, I do want them to have scales. I do want them to look like they belong in the water because they are mermaids. So they belong in the water. I am using a spare piece or a cutoff piece of three quarter inch basswood, and I have to pull my hair out of my face. I'm hot. I'm hot, I'm hot. So we are going to just uh, pull my bangs out of my face so I can see. It's going to look bad, but we'll live. I don't think it looks bad. We'll live. Hey, that's my foot. That's my foot. Sorry. I got cold, wet nose on my toe. On my heel, I mean. It's not me. And it's not you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get in here. I think we're going to switch over. To start with, we are going to switch over to which this is the pattern I drew, drew off and where I put the scales. I did not want the scales all over her face. I want them in spots. And I haven't decided because she has dark skin. Do I go light on the scales? Do I go darker on the scales? And that's the purpose of the test board is just to figure all of this out. I think we can go a little darker. So I'm going to go ahead and bump up to two. Remember the extra small spear shader carries heat differently. 
and doesn't require a whole lot. So we are gonna, this eye has a whole lot of eyelash. Not only the eyelashes coming down, but shading from the eyelashes. So it might look a little, I didn't put them all in the pattern because there's a, there's a lot going on there. And there's a highlight right here. But you can't really see her iris because of all of the shadowing for the eyelashes. And I am intentionally going lighter because I think in, ca in, in the case of this piece, I need to start light versus the dark. I need to start light because I can always darken it. Because if I go too dark, there's going to be a hard time covering it in regards to the water. Kathy Grams is here. Hey, Kathy. So, and then once everybody who's coming is here, I, I, like I, said, I know Burl won't be here today because he had a schedule electrical outage. So he won't be here today. He'll watch on replay. Hey, Burl. And let's see here. So these are where I know my dogs are at. They're not going full dark because the water has to go over it. And if I go too dark, it'll show too much through the water. And that's where I have to figure this stuff out. So I'm looking at right now. I'm going to switch it real quick. And just be aware, Roxy's face is right in between two of the wheels on your chair. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's see here. There we go. This is the photo I'm looking at right now, just so I can see the tonal values. Let's see here. So the eyelashes go up. Because <laughs> it's more orangey, it looks like a bird. I know. It's it's. It doesn't make sense in the whole scheme of what this piece is going to be. Um, I still have to make the other mermaid fish-like. So I'm dragging, pulling up the eyelashes. So that, the, that mermaid and this mermaid going to have kind of like the same kind of face? Um, he'll probably have different patterns. Let me see if I can quickly... Um, I'm going to quickly pull up, hopefully, the reference, the, the, the full reference that I'm using, um, or that I'm creating. I'm having to make this pattern because it doesn't exist, which is always the fun part. And it will change. But this is about, let's see here, this is... Why? Don't mess with me. Don't do it. Sorry, it's a lot of files. <laughs> files I gotta click on to get there. Alrighty. Now don't look at her eyes, um, the ghost, the ghost mermaid, because the eyes, I changed my mind, and we're looking at how her eyes are gonna be. <laughs> yeah, so don't, intense. Yeah, um, I was gonna go all light with the dark pupil, like really light. So this is what about what the final piece, the pattern is going to look like. And then, but I needed to test how I'm doing that face under the water. And I may change my mind again, but I do know her eyes are not going to look like that. I think I'm going to keep the eyes that she already has. Alrighty, so let's get back. So I'm touching down, eyelashes curl, they're, they're never like straight up, I mean I guess they can if you're doing things with your eyelashes, but natural lashes, they curl and go up, so they come down under the base of the eyelid, and then, and then they curl up, and they overlap, and they're in all different directions, and then when we get over, the eye directly, they start changing direction and start going opposite. And it gives me, let's see, 
So, looking at this, this is our darkest part in her. And tapping and dragging just at the base to darken it like where I where eyeliner or where, yeah where the eyeliner would be and then we're going to quickly hit the bottom lashes those aren't as long unless somebody puts fake lashes down there and they're also tend to not be as curled not always the case but in general so we also have a shadow right here. Let me see if you're on camera. Is the screen too dark? No, I don't okay. think so. So I'm going to drag, get the shadow here, and then right here at the base of her eye reducing some darks coming out a little bit but see we also have a lot of shadowing from these eyelashes so look at the water reference again because that is what's really what I need to be doing. She has a dark rim. There we go. There's a lot of things going on. And now remember her face is going to be slightly, it's going to be smaller than this because of the size of the wood. I intentionally enlarged this just so I could practice. And what do we see under here? In, in the re sepia reference, we mainly see shadow. Yeah, it's mainly shadow that we see. And I'll darken this a little bit. And then underneath, we do have some shading. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull my tip, touch down. And I'm doing oval strokes with the top half of the tip. And I'm gonna quickly put this in. Because she's in the water, we have a ton of highlights, but I don't think I need because she's going to be under the water and mainly like the top of her head is going to be getting more of the light. Sorry, trying to quickly move so we can see some results. Eyes are always like the best thing to practice with because eyes are all different. They've got great shading and detail. So if you're just looking to practice in general, eyes are a good choice. If I'm doing a portrait, that's where I usually start. Mm -hmm. Me too. You get their eyes right, a lot of it is easier. Hey, Spence. Hey, Spencer. Um, so yeah, if you can get the eyes right, important to have proportion and spacing and you know all that everything structurally correct about the eyes because um, when people are looking at portraits they're drawn to the eyes so well they're the most identical part of it and if there's something wrong with them that it won't look like the person it won't look like the person and it'll be the first thing that the, the viewer notices all right 
just trying to get some of these lines in so I can start erasing. So look, I, right now I'm just looking at the sepia. I still need to upload this pattern to the Super Toasties. Yes, if it's something they want to practice. Just trying to get... She does have makeup on and I'm fine with that. I, I know a mermaid wouldn't be wearing makeup. But Maybe it's natural makeup. <laughs> natural discoloration fish are colorful they are colorful so yep that worked <laughs> all right looking at the water trying to work this out in my brain let's see here where am i there i am But yeah, eyes are definitely fun to do and a great practice. So I do still see some highlights through. Through the water. But... don't know that we need them. Get darkening along the edge because that's where our darkest areas are. Looks like I'm a little crazy with the corner of the eye here, but I'm okay with that. I'll fix the pattern so it's easier for me to read it. And that's another thing. This does help me see how bad or how accurate the pattern is. Not bad, just maybe a little off. You know, I think iteration is um, an important part of art. Like, what I found is that when I, you know, practice and redo, you know, different things, that each iteration is better than the last. So having a practice piece like this is actually really important you know if you want to get it right because it you know maybe some people are so good that they get it right in the first try but most people are not that way and even most professional artists by the time that you know you get to a piece that is going to be the final piece they really already have been working it out and practicing on it like a lot of people don't realize like Bob Ross by the time that he got to the painting that he broadcast um, that was his third his third iteration of that that painting so it looked like it was spontaneous and it was meant to look spontaneous but he had to make sure that he had everything down for the broadcast because it was live and so you know he had to do he had to make sure that he understood how everything was put together so and, and of course you know I'm sure there was minor variation but he had to understand what he was doing and that's just iteration, you know, and that's that's kind of what Valerie is doing here, just working it out so that when she gets to the final piece that she has a better idea of what she's doing and it will be a much better final product. And less frustrating in the process. Yep. Because if you do find things that aren't working or some, maybe you stumble upon something that works better, then, you know, then that's something that you can... Uh, apply towards the final piece and if that piece was the final piece especially in pyrography where it's less forgiving and not as correctable as other forms of art um, other mediums you know it's it's a, it, it's a great thing you know because it, you know if you find that you're doing something and you do have a a cool discovery you know something that you want to try then you know if, if it's a final piece it might be too late for that you know but since this is a practice piece you can kind of work out everything that you want to and see what happens 
Right, I'm going to push over to the scales. I mean, it looks like an eye for now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> looks like an eye. It needs darks and stuff. But again, I'm working with the water. So I have to make decisions a little different than I normally would. Um, let's see here. I'm going to real quick put in. Well, there's a lot of factors there that you, I mean, I know you're working in, but you know, it's a ghost image. So a lot of it. Which I've never done. It's going to be um, less defined, and there's going to be less contrast. And, um, you know, and you have to find that balance, you know, that's how it fits into the rest of the picture and the composition. Otherwise, it'll just look like a. One thing I didn't. Uh, another portrait. Print. I just realized it. Shoot fire hard. Uh, well, I need a. I made a reference of. Um, I made a reference of the color with the... Do you need me to go take it off the printer? No, hold on. I think maybe... Oh, there it is. I didn't print one for me, but... <laughs> Come on. There we go. I didn't print one for me, but there's one up there. So uh, I will try it. Oh, I did not realize. <gasps> Oh, I'm so sorry. What just happened? Oh, was it up the whole time or not up the whole time? What are you talking about? It's the uh, reference photo, the extra, the. Uh, it wasn't. Okay, okay, that's all. Okay, yeah. so we have water waves. So what I don't have, I don't think I made a photo of, or I made the photo, but I don't think. I uploaded it. She looks like she's wearing some serious sunblock. She does, I know. And what those those are goldfish scales that I use the um, warp tool under the edit oh, okay. transformation to shape it around her nose. I don't want all of them there. The the ones on the nose, well, all of them, they're going to be splotchy. So not everywhere is going to have scales because I think it might be too much. Yeah. Um. I'm wondering, should I put the waves in, the, the ripples in first, across the face, and then burn? And it, this is why I'm doing the test board. I'm trying to figure out which needs, which order it needs to be in. Do I put her face in first and then put the ripples, or do I put the ripples in first well, and then fill in the face? Painting-wise, I would do that towards the end because the I can ripples. layer on top. But they're a lighter component, right? Yeah, because if you look, there's the darker ripples, and then the the, the water is is lighter. So I I okay, I think I see the ripples you're talking about. I was These thinking, right here. I was thinking a lot of times when you see underwater environments, you see uh, an X pattern from the ripples. But these are longer. Lights. Yeah, and so but these are somewhat similar. But if they're going to be are they lighter or darker? Well, the ripples themselves are darker. Um, and I don't... Did I... Let me put that reference back up for them so they can see what we're talking yeah. about. I, I keep I it like, in that I one. I would like to see it, too. So this is the color version of what I'm doing. I don't know if I have the fish face on there. I'll make it bigger for a second so we can see what I'm talking about. Not this one. I don't want this one. I don't want this one. Don't want that. I am driving myself nuts. Where are you? There it is. <laughs> Sorry, I got a lot of things on the line. Okay, there. I do have the fish pattern in this one. So we have the lights coming down. That's above her head, above the border. So we have the lights coming down. You can... I haven't decided if this is how much of the face you're going to see through the water. I haven't decided. But I'm trying to see because I didn't print it out. Do we see the ripples that are horizontal? I don't really. You I don't see, really? I see the light. The light coming the light down. down. I see those. I think that's the important part. Because if you're in like still water and you're underwater and you've got light coming down from above, that's what you'd see. 
I'm not really catching the ripples. We're not catching. Do you guys see the ripples on the screen? Um, I'm going to make it real big just so we can see real quick. I don't know if it's necessary, honestly. But see, the ripples are going to be in other places, I believe, if I look at the reference photo. It gets darker as it goes to the bottom, as it should on the big reference. Um, but I guess we don't really see the ripples, do we? Mm -hmm. Alrighty. See, and that's one less thing you have to worry about. Yep. So I think that's good. And that's what but we're But now the rays of light, though, how are you going to deal with that? Are you going to... Are you going to leave those, or are you going to... No, I want them. Words? I want them. So, see, the reference that I printed out doesn't have the ripples you're looking at. I'm trying to figure out, do I want to transfer this to my phone? I know. What? Well, yeah, chat says they can't see the ripples either. You can't see the ripples, okay. Yeah. I, I don't know if I would worry about it, though. Are you transferring it to your phone? I'm not. Okay. I have the photo. See, if you look on this reference, you can see the light and you can see the ripples. This is the first generation of it. So, if you look at that, you can see both. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah. And that's when I was... I don't think they're in that one. Looking at okay, but this the reference that's on the screen right now is the one that I trimmed and, and did for this pattern. But if I look at what's going on there... So, this is my opinion, all right? Mm -hmm. I think that the ripples... They almost look like a skin texture. They do. They do. And if you do that in combination with the scales, I think it's going to be confusing. Too much? I think it'll be too much. Okay. I think one or the other. One or the other. So I think scales and soft beams of light would be more aesthetically pleasing. That's just my opinion. But I'm not putting in a whole lot of scales, but I do feel he needs to have a little bit. So I either... I can put ripples where there's put ripples where there's not scales so that it's an either or I I still think that it would be too busy that's just again that's just my opinion well that's why we're doing this but I've done a lot of ghost images and the more detail you put in a ghost image the less it looks like a ghost what I'm doing is I'm just taking the light just so I have a visual of where the light is about coming because I didn't put it in the reference and chat the the picture she showed me i can totally see the ripples so so how are you going to deal with the light rays that's what i'm checking right now it'll have to be a lighter burn area so i'm weighing them in quickly mm. so that i can so yeah you can see the ripples yes there that is the yep but that That's about the size, well, the area I'm burning. But it's actually further up in the reference photo now. So um, they moved it. That's the first generation. That's the photo that went out, or uh, that I posted for the Super Toasties for input. Alrighty. Roxy. So. Roxy. I'm trying to figure out. Okay. Let's take off. Let's graph it here. But I could do both and see what it looks like on here. And if I don't like it, then I know. Yeah. So that that's I think the that's, beauty of this. Yeah. Well, I mean, and yeah, it's it's good because then you know, you're totally finding out what works and doesn't. So. So, the ripples go across. Get out of the trash. It's not for you. So I'm going to drag. I'm going to soften it a little bit. I'm just freehanding these in because I did not make them, put them on the pattern. Would you bored? Hmm? Oh, Roxy, she's wandering around sniffing stuff. Now we have to remember there's gonna it's gonna bend, but I do need to keep it. 
relatively straight. Uh, Sheila says ripples as well as scales on face were too busy. She thinks. No, but let's find gonna, out. Yep, I was gonna say we're gonna find out. We are gonna find out. And that is the beauty of this test board. And if I don't like it, if it turns I, I, out, I knew what you said, Sheila. Yeah, I th I've done several ghost ghost type faces and. That's my experience, but it may be different with pyography. And that's one of the things my, I need my to find My experience is, is that like less is more, but, you know. Well, and that's why I am. But I've never done an underwater mermaid, so. Neither have I. <laughs> this is totally new. So we have a shadow here, but right now, I'm just trying to. And then once I put in that big shadow, I think we'll have a better idea. Yeah. And the darks of the nose. So it angles. And then we'll see, because I may actually on the scales go light. So they they would still be burned in, but they would be light a lighter area of the face. Mm. Not necessarily dark. I know it's a mess right now, but hang in there with me. We'll get there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, what? Yeah, I'll hang in there. <laughs> Let's put this dark in. Now, some of the ripples. I have to make sure to go lighter, and then it'll make more sense. I'm going to switch over to my small. Go to two and a half, and we'll take a drink while that's heating up. And then we'll see how it goes. I've been doing a lot of um, work on the... Uh, computer in the last couple of days and my eyes are suffering for it. I had oh, to yeah. go up one level <laughs> one reading class, but, oh. but I had to wear these. So I'm wearing these these frames, which I haven't worn in a while. <laughs> but I kind of look like, you know, so I married an axe murderer. Oh, yes. Like Meyer's dad. <laughs> All right, so the darkest area is at this, and I'm too dark. <sighs> we'll look. Remember, it's a test board. If I screw up, I would rather screw up here than on the piece itself. No stress. No stress. So this is a big shadow, but it has... Kathy. Roxy, that's not food. Mm. You got bored, so you're eating paper towels. I'm okay if this isn't smooth. I'm just trying to get that visual. So if it's not a smooth okay. burning, it's okay. Well, this is just working it out. Yeah, this is just trying to. I mean, if I was telling somebody else to do this, I would also tell them <clears throat> to practice their strokes as well. Yeah. Practice smooth shading. Yeah. But I know I can smooth shade, so I am wanting total value and where everything is going to go. That is the purpose of this for me. You know what? Let's put the nostril in. Which in the water reference, we don't see a whole lot of detail on this side of the nose. It's all dark. And our light is on this side. So. Let's 
Go ahead and darken it up. You know, there's this um, this person in history that could predict the future. And he had a really big nose. Mm -hmm. His name was Nostrabamus. <laughs> dum dum. And the dad jokes have arrived. Yep. So all that needs to be darker. I'm actually going to bump up only because I'm trying to get this done so we can see. I want to be able to show why I'm doing this. And the other piece of wood is much smoother. I just grabbed this piece. In fact, the, the wood for the burning is right behind you. Do you want me to get it? Sure. It's all nice and pretty. I mean, like it a whole bit. Oops. 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 Don't. don't. Oops. That wood. I, it's, I spent... Thing's pretty big. Mm -hmm. I spent over an hour squaring it up and getting it nice and smooth. Dark there. Love. I shall live. I'm just trying to build up the shadow. And I, I think the ripples are important here. Because things won't make sense if I don't have them. So dark right here. I think I'm going to switch back over to the extra small, bump it down to three. To be honest, I think the nose on my working this out, I think the nose is going to be the most important for me. Yeah. 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 Camera angled off a little bit. There we go. Alrighty. Switch back over. Yeah, it's really dark. That's all right. That's all right. This will also allow me to see how dark I want to go for the actual piece. Yeah. So I need some lights in here in the shadow in order for it to look like water. Yeah, this wood I don't have sanded as smooth as so my tip's catching, but it's okay. Just a test piece. You stop? Look at that. Yeah. Alright, so our shadow on the nose is like... A large one. So I think it might be a good idea to get that shadow in. Mm. I don't know. Morgan's shedding again. It's summertime. Yeah, the I don't have this very smooth sanding lines. That's all right. Just test board. Yep. So let's put the shadow in. So we know. The bridge is. Okay. 
Oh, I see. <laughs> what? Well, you, you did the, the shadow line um, that's over by the corner of the eye. And because you're still working on the nose, it makes her no it makes her nose look super wide. Um. Because it doesn't read as a shadow just yet. It does make it look wide. What the nose is about. It's about here. What do you what do you have? What what do you have, John? What is this? Trash. Yeah, right now this is But I feel the piece needs the water, but I almost wonder if it would be more interesting without the water. What do you mean? If her head's just there. But then I think it's too much. Well, I don't know. Like I said, when I've done ghost faces, um, ghostly faces, like they're little more than the eyes and mm -hmm. the nostrils and the mouth if you include the mouth because you know those help us establish that it's a face but it, it's really hard to sell it as a ethereal face when, when you start adding details yeah i know that's why i'm trying to figure out how much i'm gonna put this shadow on this side of the nose, just so. See, if I go light with all of it, then it, I can go back and darken for the water. Yeah. But. Hmm. But that's why you're doing My brain's it. having a hard time trying just to. Working it out. Maybe it's because it's still a mess and I've got to give myself a break on that. I don't know. Maybe work on something else like the eyebrow, eyebrow or something. Or the other eye. Well, I want to see. I, I'll work around the scale part right here. And we have a shadow on this side of the face. But it's... Too hot for these scales. Turn it down too. Is that like a version of right said Fred? No. I'm too hot for these scales. <laughs> no. My temperature was too high. My temperature was too high. So I guess I'll do light scales on this side and dark on the other and see which one I like better. Yeah. Let's see what I like better. How is everybody doing in chat? Is anybody working on anything cool? I mean, if you're working on something, I'm sure it's cool, but we'd like to hear about it. Oh no, am I putting people to sleep? No, it's just you're focused, you're trying to work out stuff, and I'm, and, um, I'm sure everybody is, is watching you intently, but... But since you're not talking. Oh, yeah, I know. I need to. But I appreciate it. Thank you. Well, that's the, that's the thing. It's like when you... When you have an established thing that you're used to painting, kind of like Bob. We'll go back to Bob Ross. 
Like, he could talk very easily through what he was painting because it's something that he was really familiar with, knew the techniques, and he'd already painted a specific scene, you know, several times yeah. before. So it's easier for him to engage that part of his brain because on some level, you know, he is already on autopilot, and which is why it looks so amazing, you know. Um, but I think people here are getting the benefit of seeing you work out the, you know, you're, they're seeing the process live, you know, of you working out, you know, not just the composition, but, you know, how you're going to attack this piece. And so it's a little different, and it requires a, a different mindset, and it's a lot more engaging. There's a lot more internal dialogue going on when you're doing this. <laughs> So, like, yeah, unfortunately, I can't say my internal dialogue. Like right now, I mean, I guarantee you that Valerie is so focused that she is not aware that almost 50 minutes have passed. No. Oh. Yeah, huh? Well, I did stop and screw with the photos. So. That was just for a second. What I'm saying is, is that you've been really engaged in this because you've been trying to work it out. And that's, that's what happens when your brain goes into R mode, creative, creative mode, and... Um, you lose track of time because your brain is uh, working out, you know, spatial relations and uh, everything that's in front of you. You're fully engaged in that. So that's why when you're really working on a piece and you're really enjoying yourself, and time passes, you don't have a sense of it because it disengages that rational part of your mind or puts it in the back burner so to speak um, so all those uh, rational hard processes like timekeeping and um, math stuff like that all that kind of gets put to the side and you're strictly creating creative mode and that, that's a lot more um, freeing and it's more enjoyable for most people uh, Kathy is doing good well. Good. She started a cornice box for another window. However, due to surgery, it's been on hold. Mm -hmm. What is a cornice box? Is what I want to know, because it sounds like something that you would put corn in, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure that it's not. So, um, Spence says I'm not burning anything. I'm just joining seeing Bell's process. I think it's awesome that you're going for it, and we get to see how you work things out. Looks awesome so far. Thank you. That's very thank you, Spence. That's that's awesome. And Kathy says It's looking great, kiddo. <laughs> I don't know why I needed to read it in that voice. I don't either. I am gonna actually so I can get moving quicker. I am going to try. You know what? We are going to switch over to the extra large spoon shader. This might be able to make me extra large spoon shader. Keep up for a second. I've got it on four. I'm just trying to get this side of the nose in so I can see. Because right now she looks like she has a huge nose and she doesn't. We have the regular. I'm gonna actually go up to five. Sharon says I agree. It's looking great. Andrea says me too. And Kathy, I, I still want to know what a cornice box is. <laughs> is it a box you put your cornices in? <laughs> but I still need to know what a cornice is because I don't know what that is. I feel like it's a carpentry term or yes. a um, a woodworking term or perhaps a architectural term. I feel like I, I feel like I've heard cornices mentioned in the, in the in the vernacular of 18th century mansions. Does Does Kathy live in an 18th century mansion? Is it haunted? People want to know these things, Kathy. At least I do. I guess you're stuck now. Um, Sheila is still on World Biography <laughs> Month. One. Well, he, he had a picture stuck very far. Eek. I feel you, Sheila. 
he had a bunch of stuff going on. So. I think it's important, you know. It's important to have stuff going on. Yeah, I'm sure she doesn't feel that way about the stuff that was going on. Oh. Well, good stuff. Yep. Uh, it's a wooden window treatment. This is a cornice box. My husband dovetails the corners. They're great. A wooden window treatment. So it's like a frame? Or is it like something that you put flowers in? Burl is here. Oh, she must got her electricity Lurking back. in the shadows. Burl comes in for a sneak attack. She says she's still on her bear. Oh, two ears. So we're slowly getting that. Oh, it's shaping. I've got to have that. I'm wondering if... I should get away from the uh, water closer to the sun. It's not time. And stick to deeper water. It's not time. Mom's not done yet. We're not going to see as much. Burl says power hasn't gone out yet, so oh. she thought she would chance going online. Thank you for chancing it, Burl. Which means it'll go off in a minute. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sharon says maybe something like a balance. But Sharon, what is a valence? Oh, gosh. I'm pretty smart on a lot of stuff, but apparently not so much on 18th century architectural terms. Where are you getting the time of the date? I don't know. It just felt appropriate, so I went for it. Uh. What do you expect from me? I'm a hubcap. This is true. This is, this is your life. Darken this part of the nostril. So it is always darker. Spence says, ha, oh, there. Mine is just sitting there taunting me, Burl. Burl says mine is going to be petrified before it gets done. <laughs> Top of drapes, maybe? You know what? I, I'm pretty sure that... Yeah, balance. Yeah, that that's right. Okay. And you know what? I think you've taught me something. So... I, I'm just switching my brain for a minute. Let's see here. So it may be easier without the fish scales on the nose. Or maybe some fish scales in the light, but not in the dark. I think that's a good thing. It's always hard in pyrography um, because you know it's it's like charcoal or pencil or just pen because you're dealing with monochromatic so you have to you have to you don't have the luxury of color to produce different effects everything has to be created with tone yep. and contrast and so you know that that is really hard uh, it's much harder. So, for all of you doing choreography, which is all of you um, that are watching this, I suppose, um, and certainly all of our toasties, like you have chosen, you've chosen the hardest path. You've chosen the hard mode. Congratulations. And this is, I would say, definitely advanced. Yeah. Let's just be honest about it. Well, I mean, it's not something that you've done before, either. No. So it's something that you're working out. I've got to see what comes first. Kathy said, oh, okay, we're back to the cornice box. It's a wooden box that you put at the top of your window indoors. I burn the front that faces out. I know what you're talking about. Oh, okay. It, it's a little box that covers up, basically, or hang. you can hang the curtains from. Oh. And hide the curtain rod or... Okay. That's cool. So, I mean, this is more and more looking like thank water. You, thank you for educating me. I appreciate that. Um, and I asked for it, too. So, Kathy says, oh, I think that right now mine is dusty, too. I think she's talking about the bear, not the cornice box. Because <laughs> it hasn't been around long enough to be dusty. So, 
this or, is in. or it's not completed yet. Ugh, this chat is getting so complicated. <laughs> Start in a corner box. Okay, yes. So the corners, the corners, went. Corners box it would not be dusty because it. Yeah. So this, she's definitely talking about the bear. All right. See, that's what I do. Keep up with chat. Mm. Actually, I think they try to keep up with you. Yeah, I think I may skip very quickly. I'm going to put. I'm just using the very tip of this. Maybe. Just so we can see where the eye is. In the scheme of this. But it definitely needs more darks one. Mm, no. uh, Kathy says, yep, yep, Bell is the winner. I thought that's what you meant, Spence. Spence's bear is dusty. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is just going to have to be worked back and forth. Now, what I... I'm not, like... Why does it look like that? Let's straighten up this camera. I thought you were doing that intentionally. No, my cane was sitting there. There we go. Oh, Kathy says her cornice box is dusty. Well, <laughs> my mistake. Thank you. Oh, gosh. The things, that sounds we, like just, a, the that, things we discuss. That sounds like a spy code. Like something would say, like, my cornice box is dusty. And, you know, there'd be a response for that. You know. My balance is not installed. Excellent, comrade. We meet again. I think I'm wondering if it wouldn't be better for me to change the water to a deeper water that's going to be darker yeah. and have less ripples. I'm wondering if that wouldn't be a better well, it would create more contrast with your main subject. And that's always a good thing. Yeah, it may be too busy. That's what I think. Having the light water on top. Yeah. See, the, down here is the darker water, and I'm wondering if it wouldn't be better to have the darker water. I, I can't do because I'm not on Photoshop right now. I can't, like, adjust it. Yeah. Wondering if that wouldn't be a better choice. Because then I could have the fins, or the, the scales if I want to, without having this water, ri the, r the ripples fight with it. Yeah. Well, there are some other things going on there too, because directionally you have the rays coming down and then down. the ripples are coming across. Yeah. And that's that's maybe creating the compositional havoc. Then you got scales too. So. Well, like I said, I want her scales to be softer. The the detail, of the scales, the more prominent of the scales is going to be on the main mermaid. Yeah. Hmm. So I'm just going to have to keep working this out. And so there's next week. I don't know what we're doing next week. I don't know if I'll be able to get the pattern done in time so that I can just focus on that. Or what? I mean, I guess I, if I was still working this out, I guess I could always flip this board. Yeah. Both sides are saying this way. I can just flip it and try this again. Yeah. And see what comes out better. 
So either we will do this, just change because I need to try regular, the, the deep water without the ripples. Mm -hmm. Or we will start on the big piece. Okay. A lot for me to think about. If you guys have any input, any opinion, by all means, please let me know. Because, you know, sometimes we... Oh, sorry guys. That was my stool. I pushed it. Sometimes we just need a little bit of extra voices. Yeah. Just sometimes. I mean, it never hurts. No, it doesn't. Yeah. I mean, and I think that as artists, a lot of times... It's easy to become isolated and have your own viewpoint, but having external voices to weigh in on, you know, the thing that you're working on is sometimes it has... Well, that's uh, why I post it with the super toasty. In this oh. value. Ow. I'm on my hair. I'm on my hair. Right. Um, and there's something else I was going to talk about very quickly. I'm just going to drop this because I am still thinking about this. I have not made a final decision on anything. Um, I've been, we've been live streaming now for five years, or actually six years. Since 2017. Mm -hmm. So five years. And unfortunately, it seems people are less interested in it as they used to be. So a thought has started being discussed of the actual lives only being for the Super Toasties. They would be the same schedule, the same day every week, so they'd get four lives a month, and then if I can figure out a way to make sure that when we're doing the lives that I can set it up in a way that make it's coherent, then I will do a quick, very quick video upload for everybody on what we discussed in the live. But I have not made that a final decision because I know we have Kathy and Sharon who aren't members that I would hate to lose. And I don't, I, I feel guilty asking anybody to pay. So that's where I am at on that. I have a hard time asking people to pay because I've been giving it away. I've been giving away the cookies for five years now. I'm not gonna say now that. I'm asking them to pay for the thinking, cookies. Even though it's funny. But, um... <laughs> That, that's more of a toasty joke. But uh, here's here's another thing. So one of the problems that Valerie has is that she she has actually a lot of work that is Unfinished. currently working on and that she's still working on. And, um, and the, the problem is, is that when we're doing lives, um, that people are interested in, like, the first... Maybe f or something. Yeah, and first then, or second live, and then it dies. Yeah, and then with that... Although yeah. they're not here today. <laughs> and so what happens is that Valerie switches projects so that she can put something more interesting for everybody. But the result is is a increasing pile of work that's unfinished. And yep. so I, I personally think that, um, you know that she needs more time to work on, you know, getting her work, actual work done, because maybe a lot of people don't realize this, and I'm sure you toasties do, but for other people who are watching that that maybe don't realize that the live streams are actually a lot of prep, and, yeah. and <laughs> they take... They take um, me a couple hours. For, for every live stream, for every hour that you're here, it's more than a couple hours, because it's also like the day prior where she's working on patterns and figuring out what she's going to work on and sourcing the different, you know, things that she's working at. And yeah, this mermaid's taking two weeks. And, as well. and, you know, just designing stuff. And what we'd really like to see, what I would like to see for the channel, of course it's Valerie's channel and just Hubcap, but what Hubcap would like to see... You're not just is, Hubcap. Um, ...is a, you know, more video showcasing her work and, you know, um, not... Cause, and not necessarily speed burnings, because I know that there's people that don't like that. Um, but just showcases of her work, and then... Um, well, I'm working on a video. All i got to do is put it together and voiceover and yeah. do that thing. For the uh, Corvus Nebula. I, I Right now, that video is about 40 minutes, and i got to cut it down more. 
Right. But actually, though, if it was, you know, for toasties, like, they might not want to cut down that much. You know what I mean? It might become a little bit easier on you. And that's what I'm concerned about, is that Valerie gets more time to do her artwork the way that she wants to do it, um, and, and less YouTube prep. And we totally don't want to alienate anybody. We, no, it would. It, we, the lives would still happen because I do like hanging out with them yeah. and burning. I do like doing that and talking to them. Yeah. But it would be the paid members. Yeah. Um, so they get yeah they'd be getting four lives a month, plus all the other stuff. And, and the lives would be a little bit different um, because there's certain things that we can cannot do on a live that is open yeah Kathy Dan he's not on Facebook which is totally fine um, if you look down in the description there's a Kofi KO hyphen FI you can become a member there and it's just like Facebook and that I can post so you know what's going on instead of being on Facebook he doesn't have to be on Facebook oh. he can go through the Kofi account well, Andrea says she's with you no matter what you decide. Well, he's a paid member. He ain't going nowhere. He's uh, like, do you? Spence, I'm here. Spence. Oops. Oh, oh, I think that was your house. Something else. Anyway, so we're not here to alienate anybody. We no. To be inclusive. But uh, one thing that I see is is uh, the other the other half of this team, the more hub cappy member of this team, is that Valerie isn't getting to complete her work and that is that's an issue well it's on me though well it yeah but there's only so many hours in the day and if you have a piece that takes i don't know 40 or 50 hours to do and you stop that to begin a new piece yes then which is exactly what the been math going on. only works against you so right now you have hundreds of hours like 600 hours of work ahead of you Oh, don't, don't look over there. Don't don't put that out there. Do not put six hundred out there. Sheila says. I'd say about two fifty. Don't put six hundred out okay, there. Okay, two fifty. Put six hundred. But out anyway, there. Uh, Sheila says maybe uh, Zoom could be a choice. Well, the lives would still be on YouTube. It's just Kathy. I could either set up to make sure Kathy always gets the emails for the live, or and not or and it would be posted on the Kofi. Um, and if you're a member through the Kofi, which is the exact same thing as YouTube, only um, Kofi doesn't take any money because I, I have I pay six bucks a month for Kofi, um, so more of the money comes to me and then to to YouTube because you're going through the Kofi account. But you can see all the posts once you're a member. You can see all the posts and the patterns. Um, I think I need to put a file of patterns up there. And whatnot, so you don't have to be on Facebook. The U and YouTube would still be where we'd live stream, and when we live stream with the members, I don't put any ads on that. And sometimes we have music, and sometimes, as Emily D. Baker says, we have the cursey words. Yeah, but um, so, and then also I think that I mean Zoom is not a bad idea because then we could see your faces, and yes, I think that we could probably also make those lives a little bit, a little bit more personal interactive so we're already pretty interactive so. well for the higher members I do have the zoom where I can do we can do the critiques yeah um, but if and that's the thing is if, if they want to be if, on camera. if Valerie has more time then more work gets completed you guys get better content um, and very <laughs> and very might be able to go back to doing some things like you know like member showcases and things like that right now just, I just haven't seen anybody you burning. You just don't have the time, though. Yeah, I haven't seen any of the super toasties really. I mean, Greg is the only one who's who's posting regularly, and Carmen was. Yeah. In order to do the um, the members art tours. Yeah, Spence, I agree because people who don't know think we can finish a piece in a couple hours, and that's that's thanks to their speed burnings. Speed burnings and YouTubers that that kind of just turn it up, sort of abbreviate their process. Yeah, and they Bob Ross it up in that way and makes it look like, oh my yeah. God, it's so easy. Oh look, it's amazing, but it's not. It's like this is a staring contest. It is not. <laughs> it's 
not a boxing match. It's would a staring it, contest. But I win staring contests. Um, yes, you do, and 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 therefore you're a good biographer. <laughs> Alrighty. We'll discuss it more. I, um, and I really need to discuss it. Okay, he's looking for it. Um, let me see if I can very quickly pop the Kofi. I'm going to get a haircut. My hair's getting crazy. Cute fire. I need to... I'm starting to get Christopher Walken hair. That's not good. Let me see if I can... Hopefully this is, what I'm doing is I'm trying. No, that's not what I want. That's not the login. No, that's not the login. <laughs> nope, that's not the login. Come on, come on. Those are the only ones that could be. I think, oh, I know what it is. I believe I logged in with Facebook. Huh. That's the problem. Ah, there it is. Alrighty. I'm going to put it down in the chat real quick. Yeah, Spence says, um, I had someone pressure me and I feel it turned off. I feel turn off it turned off it's like yeah because and that's that's the reason why generally speaking that I don't pick up a lot of commissions because I like to work at my pace because I do when I have somebody pressuring me I feel I, I don't feel like doing it like yeah. I feel the opposite I want to go do other stuff so um, yeah I totally feel you Spence so I have the uh, membership page for Kofi it's linked in the comments and I'm not sure if this is going to have the comment replay. I will try. Well, it's Ow. always in the description. Mm. Always, always. Are you okay? I said my tongue. Oh. It's always in the description. So if you're watching mm. on replay and you're interested, it's always in the description. Um, so you can either join through YouTube under the join button. Is it there? It should be yes, there. Yes, there is. Uh, okay, it's under button. my username. Or you can join through Kofi. Yep. And it's the exact same experience. Kathy says she found it. Ah, good. Thank you. Okay. So you you decide what works for you. And again, I haven't decided if I decide to switch the lives to only paid members. That won't happen until July nineteenth, because July twelfth is my YouTube anniversary, and it happens to be a live day. So I don't want to. I, I want to be able to party with everybody. <laughs> Burl says I want to do another flying key. Another flying key. Okay. From Harry Potter. Yes. Ah, cool. Yes, and that's the one. That was the first one she ever asked me. Thank you, Kathy. Infos for it. And kept telling her to darken it. <laughs> That's when Burl learned how picky I am. Oh, yeah, you are. If you're asking me for help. Yep. If you're not asking me for help, I won't do that to you. Because yep. it's not very nice. But if you're asking for help and I see something, I will very kindly explain what I see. Um. All right, so that's what I'm thinking. Still have, what, two weeks? So two lives before I make that final decision. But basically something's got to change because we, yeah. we, we are here for you, and we will always be here for you, but we also need to grow this channel, and what we're doing right now is not working. Yeah, people so. just don't seem interested anymore. Um, so we got to figure something out. I, I'm the one who started... Live streaming first. Girl, <laughs> let's go darker. Still haunts me. Bro, right, <laughs> right yeah. here, right here. Andrea I knows it you. too. Andrea knows it too. Yeah. I appreciate that, Sharon. The Queen's coin to finish. Uh, Bro says I like Zoom. It would be cool to see your faces when we're chatting. That would be yeah. kind of neat. You know what? We may still be able to do that, a that would be, one live with that, the Zoom. That would month. be something that we could do. Um, yeah. in, a pri in a private, you know, broadcast because then we wouldn't have to worry about, you know, everybody's. Well, since they get one extra live a month, for the most part, already, if we switch over to paid members only for the lives during the week, then we that one extra we could do a Zoom. That way, everybody can hang out and, and be together if they choose to be on camera, or if they just want to do audio, they can. 
Um, so there's that. I don't know. I think we only get 45 minutes on Zoom for the free ones. <laughs> oh, oh, Spence, I, I want to see you. And I, I don't want to... I mean, Tex is a sweetie. But I don't want to see Tex. I want to see you. If we do that. I know people aren't necessarily comfortable with it. Burl says I would have to break out the makeup bag. Makeup. makeup. Honey, you don't see makeup on this face. So there's... If you don't feel comfortable putting the makeup on, you don't have to worry about yeah, it in my I, eyes. I, I Believe it or not, I don't wear makeup. <laughs> all righty so we will talk more about it i'm just letting you know my pro my thinking what i'm thinking about um i really don't want to leave anybody in the in the dirt but i don't want to leave anybody behind at the same time um, i've got almost 400 videos andrea you have to wear something other than PJs. Why? No, you don't. Why? I'm wearing PJs. Yes, he is. Yeah. I got shorts on this time, though. Yeah, she's more dressed than I am. I am. Well, I'm she's dressed to go out. I'm dressed to go to Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's my thinking process. I haven't made any final decisions. Uh, yeah, PJ party. May push. Yep. May push it out. May uh, decide uh, not to do it. I'm torn on it. But I also need to take care of me, and I haven't been doing that. So. Kathy says, woohoo, count me in. Woohoo! Yay! He may have just um, become a member. And that's why she's saying count her in. We'll see. I can see that right here. No. Nope. I think she's saying count me into the pajama party. Oh, sorry, Kathy. Zoom. Don't want to do that to you. Zoom. Don't want to do it. Alrighty. Then it is. Alright, you know what to say. Yes. Say it with me. Yes. Oh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new and watching replay. Thank you. Thumbs don't up. Don't forget to the like button and share. Share helps. Okay. <laughs> Alright, say it with me. You're Make awesome. Sure that you can do this. Boxes Why? Because you're a power your artist. In your 18th century Victorian mansion. Happy burning, guys. Bye. Ow. Bye. <laughs> Did you just wave at yourself? I wave at myself, yes. Girl, you need a break.